All right, guys, it's Wednesday evening, and uh, I finally got all this uh, tore down here on the wood truck. Now, I'll show you. And this is one of the reasons I had the guy buy panels. Uh, well, another reason is, you know, I'm just a little slower at making stuff like this. And... Um, you know, and it's labor intensive. Um, I don't have the tools to do it. So, you know, I had him buy the panels for the replacement. And the thing we want to do is, we want to get above the rust on our replacement. And all of what I'm replacing here is, is going to do that. See how we got this cut up, you know, above the rust, because the panel rust you know from the back out and uh, you know your rust can be <clears throat> deceiving you you know like that you know it's rusted you know within an inch of the top here but you know you got paint so you want to be sure to cut as um, all the rust out of the vehicle on the exterior panels. That's my goal on this. I want to do a good job. It's got my name on it. The truck is in my neighborhood. I want it to look good. And not only that, but it's my wood guy. And my wood guy takes care of me. And, uh, you know, I am fortunate to have a wood guy. So we want this truck to be. 100% as we can get it on the outside. Okay, now, you know, I can't go patching all the inner structure. Uh, now, I am going to lay a piece, a strip under here to give myself the weld to. Let's see if we can get this down here. It's hard to climb around on the ground. But, I don't know if you can, there you go. See all of our spot welds that we had here, and then we're missing a chunk. So I'm gonna put a strip in there, a little piece of L or something, you know. I'll bend something up and uh, we'll kind of connect this all together before we put this on and give me something to weld to. So, you know, it's not gonna be, you know, airtight you know to the elements but it wasn't anyway from the beginning uh... you know we're just going to do the best we can with it we'll get something to tack up here now i will paint the back side of the panels uh... with just uh... rust only in paint we'll be using uh... weld through primer on all of our our uh... edges that get welded and you see here we cut above the rust here on our patch. Um, I was guessing when I did it. Uh, I guessed pretty good. But if I hadn't got it all, I would have took more. Because, you know, my piece is large here. And if I would have had to use it all, I would have. So. There we go. You know, we could have made it a lot bigger but we didn't have to. The other side over here while we're at it these spots here now this has been out side after I done this it's rained on it a couple times you can see I did not take the etch off of it if I had of it would have rusted completely through so what you see these streaks here are just from me sanding it. This is sanded in 80 grit and I feathered it out with 180 I think. So I was going to etch prime it. So I'll sand it again. But there was a few bubbles in the paint. Now I was just certain that those would be holes. And you can see the spots here. Hopefully you can see the spots. All right. And I took my poker hammer and hit it sharply. Um, it does have a dent in it right here from where I hit it. Okay. But uh, it's not soft at all. Uh, it is very solid. 
you know, I, th I was thinking I was going to have to cut this out of here and probably put something in here, but I'm not going to. Um, if it would have been soft and my hammer would have went through, I would have replaced it, but I don't see any reason to do it. It's not rusted over here on this side. So, and we do have a cab corner thing here. And when he didn't get a rocker for this side, but I think I'm going to get one. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go pick one up. And uh, it's just going to be better to uh, go ahead and replace that whole rocker panel and do it right. Then we will have all new metal all the way around the bottom of the truck, except for the bed the front of the bed and the rear of the bed which doesn't need it it is you know surface rusty a little bit but that's from peeling paint you know we'll skin that back re-etch it and uh, and go from there and we're not replacing any metal here but on the other side we are in the up in the, in the uh, wheel well so we're replacing you know, I don't know, 75, 80% of all the steel on the bottom of the truck. We're trying to chase the rust out of it. These guys, you know, uh, are folks like me, like you, like everybody else. They drive vehicles until they die, basically, especially when they have a vehicle that is a purpose vehicle, which they use this, this to haul wood and make, a, you know, buy their groceries in the in the winter with it <clears throat> by hauling wood so you know I want to make this as good as I can I want it to last as long as, we, long as I can make it last because they're probably going to drive it for a long time and uh, so we'll have uh, hopefully we'll get this side get these panels cut fed up here tonight and uh, you know hopefully we'll have this side here ready to go back together so there's my wife so I'll talk to you later uh-huh oh yeah there's the pile of rust out of this one rust and seam sealer and whatever else falls out of them morning guys it's Thursday and uh, Thursday morning and it's looking like a nice day out so far but I don't think it's gonna I think we're gonna have we're gonna have it deteriorate as the day goes on so I think we're about as warm as we're gonna get it does feel good out 61 so far but I think the temperature is supposed to go the other way uh, this afternoon so they're only calling for 62 or 3 for a high so it's gonna get cooled off and uh, probably ought to check in here on the wood truck uh, fitting panels last night fixing areas that need fixing uh, so I'll have something to weld to and um, I got the rocker here pretty much fitted up whoops for Pete's sakes Ugh. all right let's see here all right there's what we got ground away a lot of the rust and uh, scale um, I'll go ahead and paint this inner panel here with the rust only and paint and uh, let's see here let's turn on the light maybe if we need it and I got right here you can see where I welded in a panel that uh, or just a piece there 
so I have something to uh, weld my uh, rocker to. So a bent a little piece there, stuck it in there, and we're pretty much fitted up here on our rocker panel, uh, with the exception of uh, prepping our panel and there we go, guys. Sorry, uh, prepping our panel and putting our spot weld holes in it all over, and uh, I got a little work to do here. I'm gonna straighten this up right here and uh, and whatnot. And then when we're moving on to this one, you got to put the rocker in first because it over the cab corner overlaps the rocker a bit and. Uh, I got a mark on this dude, and uh, if you can see the scribe line, and we got to cut that out, and that'll be ready to uh, fit up in there after I get it cut out. I got to, you know, I got to do a little something something here on the bridge. This give myself something to uh, actually, it's right here is where I got to do it. Um, give myself something to uh, cabbage on to there. Uh, I think it was Ron from the wrecking yard left a comment on the previous video and he said that he was amazed that the inners were as in good a shape as as they are and uh, um, overall the truck is a 1993 normally the 93's around here are just rusted completely into the ground by now um, unless you know you've kinda kept them clean done whatever I think on this one though this one has had a lift in it uh, since it was totaled um, and it wasn't a terrible accident um, uh, not long after it was new uh, according to the wood guy and uh, you, you will be able to see better when we get the bed off it has a huge sway in the frame and uh, it does carry a salvage title but um, it was lifted, and I don't know if lifting it had anything to do with it or not, but, uh, and also perhaps uh, the roads that we live on around here are not treated with salt. Now, you, if you get to a state road, it will be, and some towns treat them with salt. So, personally, when I drive in the winter, I do not drive on treated roads. Um, I don't drive on the salt, and I wash the underneath of the car continually. Um, you know, I haven't washed the uh, exterior of my Jeep in I don't know how long. I painted that and I probably washed it twice on the exterior. But I've washed it countless times uh, underneath. To uh, anytime I drive on a treated road, I wash the vehicle underneath. Um, that's the only way to keep them from rotting away, guys. And, um,. And you know it takes five minutes with a power washer to uh, to make your car last literally years longer. So that's where I'm at on this. Uh, you know it doesn't look like we went a long way, perhaps, but uh, you know there's there's time involved here getting this stuff prepped up. I worked out here last night until probably one or two in the morning, and then. <clears throat> I'm back at it again about 8 a.m. here and uh, I got to get another vehicle over here I actually went to pick it up this morning and uh, I couldn't get in so I gotta wait uh, here a few minutes and then I'll go get my other vehicle and work on it because it needs to be getting ready and get prepped for paint so we'll see what happens and uh, if I get my camera to work here proper get the light shut off hopefully Hopefully today I, I'll have enough time to get these panels kind of fit in here um, before I have to uh, take the wood truck out um, so I can get this other vehicle in here and get it done. So you guys take it easy and uh, we'll catch you later. <laughs>